In this video, I'm gonna make a flourless peanut butter oatmeal cookie. So we're only gonna need a few ingredients. One cup of peanut butter, half a cup quick oats, a quarter cup of honey. I've also got some uh, banana nut granola, one teaspoon of vanilla, one large egg, and a little bit of sea salt to sprinkle on top for flavoring. This is gonna come together pretty quickly, pretty easy. So I've got my crunchy peanut butter, I don't know how you guys feel about crunchy or smooth. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys prefer the creamy or the crunchy. I'm a crunchy guy. I'm gonna add the peanut butter to this bowl. Let's get that all in here. Now I've sprayed these cups here with a little bit of a non-stick non spray just to help it release a little bit better. And I've got the quick oats. Get that in there too. The honey. Okay, put some of this granola in there. I'm gonna save a little bit for the top. Just gonna need one teaspoon, I'm just gonna eyeball it, of vanilla. Should be good enough. And we're gonna use one egg, room temperature. Gonna stir that up. I'm gonna beat up the egg just a little bit here. Don't need to overwork it, just enough to get everything incorporated, get the egg all mixed up in here. So just gonna give that a good mix here. And as you notice, there's no flour. I'm not using any flour, so they, they'll come out nice and soft here and uh, somewhat healthy. The salt we're gonna, we're gonna sprinkle on the top just to kinda uh, give it a little bit extra uh, flavor. I'm gonna use this little tray here. Gonna make them kinda small. We don't wanna make them too big. So I'm gonna use two spoons. Just gonna make a little bit, little ball here. They don't have to be perfect. Or you can use one of these little ice cream scoopers here. This is probably gonna make about a dozen or so. You can use a larger tray and put them in your regular oven. I'm just doing something quick here to put it in the air fryer. All right, so if I, I've preheated the, the oven at 400 degrees. So I'm gonna put this kind of in the center there. Close the door, start it, hit the oven for about 10 minutes. Uh, about 350 and we'll hit start. And we'll take a look at them in a few minutes. Uh, after about five minutes, we're gonna rotate the tray to make sure they cook evenly. All right, so the cookies came out. I decided to make a couple of different varieties here. Same, same batter. Uh, these here, I added Hershey's Kisses to the top. Uh, these were more plain, and this I added a little bit of the sea salt and the uh, banana nut granola on top of it. So you wanna make sure when they come out, they, they do cool completely, because they'll, they'll stiffen up at that point. Otherwise, they're too soft to move. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one. Got myself a cup of coffee. So I'm gonna try this middle one here. So you can see the bottom, got nice, nice color on the bottom. Okay, let's just break it. I got that. Looks nice on the inside. Hmm. Wow, you can really taste that peanut butter. Now it's not as sweet unless you add the sugar it's not as sweet, but you get a little bit of the honey. It just tastes really, really nice. Really nice peanutty uh, flavor. And uh, the granola and the nut, the uh, uh, almonds on the top, they give it a little bit of a crunch too. Pretty good. You guys, you guys should give this a try. Again, just a few ingredients. Hmm. And get yourself a nice cup of coffee too. All right, so if you guys give this recipe a try, I'm sure you're gonna like it. You can adapt it to almost uh, any flavor if you wanna add some coconut in there. That, that'll work really good too. So if you give it a try, let me know in the comments section below. Give me some likes, some shares. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you when I release a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.